Just a man on a mission, ambition to never fail. Personality electric, he is animated male. Intelligent and wise, calm and often cool. Chris James giving opinions while also speaking the truth. Empathy and compassion. Stephen Michael is here, helping you through your traumas, helping you with your fears. These three forces combine and keep it honest. Turn up the volume, cause this is the application of knowledge. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> To the Application of Knowledge podcast, I am Animated hey, Mel. Yo. Chris James is here. Stephen Michael is here. In the building. In the building. And we are finally, finally, on the episode that was predicted. Oh, I know what episode it is. What episode we on, man? Buddy, 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 buddy. Episode 61. I knew it. I told you. I told you he's going to say Skip right wrong. over the one. Yeah, we've been... We finally made it to 60. So shout out to everybody who's been rocking out with us since day one. Finally, Stephen Michael has come back you know I mean? to the podcast for episode 60. He came back, baby. He episode made it 61. back. It's um, episode 60. It's episode 60. Well, let Chris do it. Chris is going to do whatever okay. he wants to do. But you all, you all know it's episode 60. Yeah. Uh, Chris, Can they see that? And is it, Does it say it on the, on the title? Yep. Yes. You should know that. You, you should know asterisk, that. Asterix, asterisk 61. You should know that, Chris James. Wait till we get to episode 69. <laughs> oh, we're going, wow. we're going. Wait, wait. So that'll be in, what are we, in March? Wow, he's 60, about to calculate it. It'll be about two months. Two. So we got it's like the two so March, in a, in a April, week. May. Oh, right around my birthday. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm getting freaky on here. Yeah, you ain't even going to be here. Right. No, nah, I'll be... You ain't gonna be here. You gonna be in Hueca Mundo somewhere. Hueca Mundo. Be in Las Noches, bro. Is Bleach back on? Nah, I'll they be just able. went off. Man, no, it didn't just went off, ju- bro. Just, it literally, it, it just came on. And it they just gave went us like off. twelve episodes. Twelve? Was it twelve? Was it? Tw- was it twenty-four? You think? No, 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 I thought, I thought it was, thought it was like four. Episodes. Came back with a little maybe taste. A, no, they gave us twelve episodes. Okay, maybe I'm missing something because I, I got thought Crunchy it was like Roll seven now. Episodes. You got Crunchy Roll. Yeah. Been there. You got Crunchyroll. I do. Uh-oh. Okay. What's good, man? How we doing? <laughs> oh no, you know I signed up one night because I because I saw an ad and then I still haven't watched anything. Yo, Crunchyroll is fire. It, it, it turned out, huh? Because before niggas was like, oh nah, man, Crunchyroll. You know what I mean? No, what's good about it is the whole premise, which is you get high quality anime on demand. And you don't have to look for it. It's I mean, always. I can get anime anywhere I want. Yeah, See, I know. Mel's but, the but... one that told me, yeah, you ain't going to pay for country rules. No, I, yeah, of I course. Didn't, because didn't we haven't that. used Mel, it. Mel, you have years. said that. No. You were the one that said that to me. But Because we haven't used it for years. Remember. But the point, the point is, it's a convenience thing. <laughs> it's, it's super convenient. convenient. However, it doesn't have all the animes. Well, I mean, what nothing else does. What, what there, are, there, there are other sites that have. Plenty, they have Funimation. There's plenty of anime Funimation, websites out no. there. Didn't Funimation have a? Don't they have a streaming service? You don't want a Funimation. Service. I understand that, but Crunchyroll is the the best one, right? As far as streaming service, Con- it's the biggest. Con- one. There we go. Like okay, they have the I think best. Funimation branding. is just like a, a production. I don't think they. Maybe they do have a streaming. I think service, I'm pretty sure but they I don't, have. I don't. Think they did like, back in the day. I don't think it's like a hub. For anime, it's like for their for Funimation, right? Yeah, because Dragon Ball and stuff was on there, and I consider man, they, I remember back in the day when they literally would just play the same episodes and just restart them, Boku the Saiyan Bakira. Saga, the Cell Saga, and they just just keep running through them. I'm like, bro, y'all ever gonna get the Boo Saga? That's why everybody under, knows those sagas so well. No, they literally yeah. just played yes. them all the time. We come home, I would get to the Raditz. It would start from the Raditz saga, then right. we go all the way up to the where Captain Ginyu, yep. where Goku would show up. He'll fight Raccoon once, and then he'll beat him. And then after that, I come home like, can't wait to see the next episode. On the next exciting <laughs> Back, episode, then they'll show the fucking Saiyan thing coming down from outer space <laughs> and Raditz arriving. I'm just like, like bro, oh! y'all keep restarting us. That's, bro, that was the most frustrating thing as a child, bro. Yeah. Bro, that 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 I remember ha- having to go to the comic book store because I wanted to see what's happened after <clears throat> Goku landed, and I went up to this comic book store. It's in, it's, West, in, it's near, it's near Ridge. It ain't there no more. In no, Ridge? It's, it's still there. It's what like when you're going towards? It's like if you're coming from Golf Manor. Cause I used to we used to ride our bikes up there. We used to ride our bikes through Golf Manor, and 
it would be like this comic book store on the left oh. hand, left hand side. I can't remember the name. So of it's it. coming from Ridge, but it's not on Ridge. It's like one of them little streets. Yeah, I don't. I do. You know, I'm the worst with directions. Man. Mel, that, so I, I never remember. even explored them streets up there where, uh, like, the uh, the chili spot was. There was like a chili spot there, and there was a UDF kind of right there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it's, but it was in that area towards Ridge because we used to go to that GameStop that was on like all the way in that little. In the well, plaza. Yeah, it was like Biggs grocery store there. Yeah. And then they had. Ooh, oh, was it Biggs. in that plaza with the GameStop? No, it oh, was okay. like on, on the way there. Oh, okay. But we used to go there and then they showed up with uh, Captain Ginyu and Goku on the front fighting. I was just like, Ma, I got to get that. I got to get that right there. And it was, the episode was called Ginyu's Go- Goku is Ginyu and Ginyu is Goku. Mm. And that was like when Dragon Ball first switched to like the the new animation because the older animation happened in Canada and then they stopped the production in Canada and you can even you can even if you listen to the voices the voice actors change even the animation change and that's why I guess there was like a big time gap before they showed it again man oh because of the dubbing and okay. yeah, 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 yeah okay so I saw the first the the way that I got past those episodes is that somehow and I don't remember. Tyler had this massive collection of Dragon Ball Z episodes. Shout out to Tyler. He gave my wall scroll. Like, like, I mean, like, I mean, uh, 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 and these are all VHS, right? This is back in the day. And we literally just sat for days watching episodes just back to back to back. And I'm like, I don't remember how he got them. And there were so many, but we watched so many episodes. What, I, what age range was this? We were probably... Um, somewhere between 12, 12, 13. So, so moving, moving into okay. high school, they were, they were, they were already releasing those tapes. So this would have been 2000. I graduated in 04. So 2000, I started high school, 98, 97 through 99 in that because area. But by, by the time I was in high school and I was working, cause you know, obviously I was there before yeah. y'all, I was already buying them. Okay. So that's he, the only way to get them. Yeah, because we didn't get the episodes. So I don't. Yeah. But I don't, I'm like, how did you get Mel, these? Yeah, the box Mel, sets. I think Mel was still behind. Did we watch them? We used to watch episodes together, didn't we? I don't know. Man. It was either you and me, or me and me and Maine. It was probably you and Maine. But I, I mean, I, I'm sure at some point in time at we watched point, some, some watched episodes. Episode. But I've only only watched like VHS, the ones I recorded, and because I know at one point in time Corey had. He, cause he, you know, he liked Broly, mm-hmm. and he, he would. He buy the movies. It was like it was in Japanese, and I was like, I ain't watching this. Shit. It wasn't subbed. No, it was. Ja- well, I think Where, it had was subs, it su- but it was it was in Japanese. The music. Da, da, I was like, yeah, I'm not watching so this. Yeah. I could. So back then, I couldn't do it. Now, I was about to say now. This is. I'd now, rather now. I only watch Japanese. Yeah, with, give me the give me the DBZ is the only thing that I don't prefer watching in Japanese. Yeah, I, I mean, I could watch it in either or. But I grew up with it in uh, English, so I'm okay with watching it in English. Mm. Man, I, you know, that's actually like one of the beautiful things about Dragon Ball is that I feel like it captures not just like an anime just being good, but like for people, like the the difference amount of people who enjoy Dragon Ball. Mm. Like, because me, you come from the hood. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cats hear anime, they think Pokemon. Yeah. yeah. And then you show them Dragon Ball, they're like, all right, you know, I fuck right. with this. Every, it's <laughs> like everybody's fighting. okay with Dragon Ball. Everyone, the nerds, the businessmen, yeah. like, if they don't know Dragon Ball, if they don't know anime, they know Dragon Ball yeah. Z. It or, almost, or, they, or at least heard of it. It some, almost is like it doesn't qualify, like, for anime, yeah, like, in their they mind. they fight. Yeah, <laughs> niggas throwing hands. It's like and you know, people in the hood, they're gonna naturally gravitate to people throwing mm. hands. You know what I mean? Do you guys prefer? Um, this girl said this to me. We were talking about anime, uh, and she said, um, "Well, I'm trying to think of the term she used." Weed. Oh no, it was it was. She said. Uh, <laughs> she said. Um, she said dub or sub, and it was so random. Oh, sub. hold on, oh, hold on, wait, oh, my damn, bad. My, bad. my bad, I gotta see. You can't say sub or dub around me, it's it's right? right. Well, right. she said dub or sub, and it was just so random. And I thought she was meaning like sexually, like dub would you or sub, right? Like <laughs> you went straight to sexual. Yeah, from I don't know why. I don't know reference. why it wasn't. I know that it was out mean, of the you blue. Didn't, you didn't understand. Steve I said dumb, dumb. It was out of the blue, and I thought she was saying. <laughs> Based upon our conversation, I thought that she was saying that she likes to be like dominant, 
And I don't know. I read I read Dub as Dom, and because I saw Sub, and um, I just I answered it wrong. Duh. But, <laughs> but well, anyway, no, no, what did you answer? It doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, you probably at, you you probably did. It. Well, if you at, hold on. Okay, what what was her response? What was her response? Yeah, what was her response to your answer? Okay, let me just say, I'll tell you what. Because I can find out what you so, said. No, I know, I know. You're about, you're about, you're about to trick me. Um, so I was just like, hey, man, you know what I mean? I, you know what I mean? I, like, you know, I'll be a little, I'll be a little, uh, I'll, I'll let you, I'll be a little sub sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, oh, so you're going to be submissive. Not like. <laughs> you're going to be submissive, man? I thought that she was being kinky. <laughs> and um, And she just was like, wait. Right, so as the conversation <laughs> went, I realized because I said something, and she was like, "Wait, what are you talking about?" And I'm like, "I mean, like, you know, like I'm, I mean, I usually am a dominant person in general, but I was like, you know, I mean, I don't mind, you know, what I mean, you want to be, a, might be a little submissive, you know." And she was just like, "Oh my god, that's not what I was talking about," and I I, I was so embarrassed, like, oh, man. but anyway. <laughs> Don't make that into a real. Anyway, um, bro, are you serious right now? <laughs> we got I, I, the content king this, over here. This is episode sixty. If you don't understand Mel's mind by now, I'm like, come on, keep going, keep going. We got about a minute. <laughs> it's all good, man. Real, we gonna keep it real. Oh man. Here. You know what I mean? Oh well. Anyway, um, so obviously, Mel, you kind of already answered. So, do you prefer um, dub or subtitles? Sub. Okay. Sub. Easily yeah. sub. Me too. Like, Come on, that's not we, even a question. Like we just we just uh went to go see Demon Slayer and we What watched. you mean you just went to go see Demon Slayer? Mm. Like in the theaters. What movie came out? Oh man. It's like uh it was not really like a movie, but it just it was in theaters. They showed the the last two episodes of the last season, which I wasn't aware of. I thought it was just gonna be a brand new movie. Oh. And then they have an hour special of like the first episode for the new season that's so it's almost like a premiere an hour special yeah it's coming out in April Mel oh so they pr- so, so you- they showed it early yeah in theaters okay. well and that shit that was a, oh, that was a money grab oh my god that was probably that was a money grab super lit <laughs> oh that shit was so good oh, Demon Slayer it is so good in theaters dude this next season is going to be amazing oh my god bro the last season that fight the last oh my god between the um. Uh, the the dude, dude the sna- got his arm cut off. Yep, the yep. spider and the, God, oh my god, it, that's like you you haven't watched Demon Slayer. That's why I got Crunchyroll, bro. bro man, I whatever. Have, and you haven't used it. Like sort of like how people like Dragon Ball Z. Do I have it on my? Phone? It's not in the same realm as Dragon Ball Z, but the the attention and or the the okay, attention I can to see, detail I can see that. for like this new generation of I people see coming into anime. Mm-hmm. Absolutely a phenomenal anime, man. I can see that. Like I be. love Demon Slayer. It's Demon a- Demon Slayer because it's so new. People don't want to talk about it in a classic way, but it's an instant classic. Yeah. Demon is it Slayer. going to be a? Is it something that could be a Dragon Ball? Yeah. Okay. Because I because I, I hear that for people that because I'm not into I'm not as deep into. It's anime not like as you power guys. levels or anything. No, like no, no, that. no, no, no. Just just the, the how how it grabs people's attention easily. Like if you like Attack on Titan, <clears throat> oh yeah, or Jujutsu Kaisen, and all those. You things. like that Jujutsu Kaisen? It's okay. I haven't watched. it. I haven't done. gotten super into it. Doesn't attract me like Demon Slayer and Attack on Titan. Right. I'll probably have to watch it again because there's actually some fight scenes in Jujutsu Kaisen that is dope. You would you would love that. I did. I saw, but it's like the animation. I think. The animation for me is just the characters. Oh. Like if there's not a character in a series that grabs me, I will slowly start to, you know, get away from it a little bit. That's why like My Hero Academia, I don't I stopped after the second season. Yeah, you wildin'. My Hero got good. I mean, I told I Isaiah that, the same thing. But a lot of people have the exact same consensus as me. But if y'all stop watching it, how do you know? Because it doesn't <laughs> keep me. It doesn't it, like it doesn't keep me like Attack on Titan like it kept me, even though it was like, ah, uh, you know, it's a lot so of- So slow. It's it's a lot of talking, <laughs> but honestly, Attack on Titan's easily probably a top five anime. Oh, yeah. Some damn Stop. swords, man. No, it's not. It's the story, Steven. Dude, it's <laughs> definitely I mean, I'm going to wait. How many, how many seasons is it? Four? Yeah, I think it's like the fourth season. They just did finish the fourth season? There- it's hard to call it four seasons. As it's yeah, so it's, short. it's been on, yeah, I think they, it's like 90 plus episodes. I think I've seen two. 
two episodes? Two, 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 two seasons. Oh, I was about to say. Are you Dude, crazy? it's easily probably one of the greatest animes made. I need to, re- I need to restart the whole thing. In its category of storytelling... And plot development, Dude. it's top. T- it's got to be easily one of the greatest. Especially if you ever consider the, how long it is, because other animes that have that, they're much short. I mean, it's like, short. Like um, what's it call it? Um, like Death Note. Like Death Note, yes. 30, great, 30 some episodes. Yes. No, but it's, I'm saying, but it's it's a great story. Like yes. how they develop it, but it's short. It's right, short. Right, 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 it's right. hard to maintain. People don't it's, have that skill level to write for that long. So for them to be able to do it, I, I would in this category, I'm putting it at like one. Yeah, wow. I mean, that's why I feel like One Piece. It's it's like the god of anime. It's not like my favorite anime. No, it's not your favorite, but it's the best it's, anime. It's easily the best. One really piece, One Piece. Mm-hmm. It's it's like a thousand plus episodes. I know. That's why every it's, you, it's every, so daunting to people who aren't into it. That's exact. I literally I was talking to my friend and I was like, listen, I want to start One Piece, and she was just like, oh my god, me too. But it's so many episodes, and I'm like, I feel the same way. But at the same time, that's kind of the good thing too yeah, kind of y'all are weird as hell like when i can if if i, I want to catch up and be able to talk about it when when mel finally convinced me to watch that i think it was maybe on like episode 300 or something maybe like somewhere around and there. you were like oh i got all kinds of episodes oh i was happy i was like man i got my back then i was eating trash i remember eating uh uh the noodles uh, oh, it ramen. was the o's the the spaghetti o no 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 uh ravioli Oh jeez! It was ravioli. Yeah. It was back. This was back in two thousand nine. Yeah, y'all used to go ham on ravioli, and we mm. would get ravioli out the can. They sound that just sounds. Oh my god! I just, know it just sounds so. Tragic. I mean, I, I ate them too, and also didn't those, even heat them up. Just, just, just took them. And those pizzas, the uh, the, the, the like, was like a quarter? Me- no, there was a dollar from yeah. like Walmart. Yeah, you just put them in the, the in, oven in the microwave. Nah, they had the they had the silver little ten thing. No, it was just a pizza. It was a, like a flat. It looked like a tombstone pizza, but it was much smaller, and it was like a dollar. And you Jeez. just rip the box open. Yeah, you could put it in the microwave or you put it in the oven and you just eat it out the box. Bro, can you imagine just a pizza for a dollar? It what? was just a little personal size, you know what I'm saying? And we mm. and we destroyed them episodes, bro. I, I was like, it was hard getting past the first. I would just say the first season. It's not the whole season, but I'll just say the first season to make things simple. What do you what do you when you say it's hard to get past, what do you mean? The animation. Yeah, the trash. animation. Oh, it's not good. It's just the the, the artwork for it. It's so different than every other anime. Like all the characters are like long and okay. they lanky. They look kind of like you know. But can it, we just say it's trash? Because I'm gonna I'm gonna say why. Because no, that's a great way to describe it. Because I have no idea. Because if it was no, I'm just saying like because I feel like he was trying to soften it. No, like, no I think he, no, he no, described that's, it. That's oh. what turned me off oh. from it initially. Was like, man, they're so long and lanky, and they all, all the characters are like rubbery. It's just different than the style that a Dragon Ball or Roroni Kenshin or Yu Yu Hakusho or Gundam Wing that mm. or Trigun Cowboy Bebop. It was a different style, you know. It but, was almost cartoony. Yeah, it was a little mm. bit cartoony, but yeah. one of the beautiful, and it it'll be cartoony at times. But one of the beautiful things about One Piece is that it captures every freaking emotion. Yes, it's long and it's a lot of dedication, but it gives you time to understand the storyline a little bit, and you mm. know, get the understanding of how these characters all relate. And like the story, honestly, can go on forever. It's like a they whole. They built it so the way that's it's built. It's so this vast. Point. It's a vast world. It's so vast. Like this, like, and it's been going on since I was bef- since I was living in Cincinnati, watching it in English. Wow, in English, and it's still continuing. <laughs> like, like, I'm a grown ass man, man now. <laughs> the you know only, I mean? the <laughs> only thing that rivals it is The Simpsons. Yeah, wow. I could, yeah, I would say that. It's I the mean, only thing as that far as longevity. It's longevity because yeah, Simpsons I, I, has like has four, 35, 40 seasons. Yeah, it's I think fifty seasons. It's, oh, maybe I, I, fifty plus. Okay, like, that may be the last time I knew about him was thirty five, forty. Bro, Pokemon like Ash, he's done. What? Oh, he won. He he's finally like won the tournament. And like they retired him. Wait, wow. I thought. Wait, wait, is that new? Yeah, it happened like maybe like a few months ago, or sometime last year. Oh, I didn't even know Ash was still a thing. They've they've done so many Pokemon, yeah. like just yeah. different spinoffs, and I'm like Ash. So yeah. so this is the original storyline coming to completion. For yeah. And how many Pokemon live in his world? 
Dude, I don't follow Pokemon okay. like that, so I, I don't know. But I just know that they they retire. Ash is done after he won. He's like, I'm good. He's always he's still a 14 year old or how old he old? What? Yet. He's he's been they a didn't kid. even adult him. He's been a kid throughout my entire childhood. Yeah, you know I mean, they kept him as a childhood, but That's they're gonna funny. focus on like some other stuff now. So man, they, what, when what, they started what? going off into these other. I said, man, you like this, you doing too much. But the thing is, like, people still like Pokemon. Yeah. I mean, oh my god, they still play Pokemon Go. Yeah. yeah. Actually, no, no, my, no shade either. One of my close friends, he, uh, well, not super close like y'all, but like just a friend, he actually works for the Pokemon company. Stop. His name's Chris Brown. Look him up. Bro, and, Chris Brown works for a Pokemon company. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if you can catch it, catch it. Let me see. If <laughs> but yeah, he, he, like they'll have like the the announcements. He's he was actually part of our squad. You know, our squad was the guy guys, and you know he he run the Pokemon company. Wow, out there in Washington, he's doing stuff. Thizzle, man. That's pretty cool. Yeah, hey, there's hey, it's money. He ain't get you know, he ain't get you no no cards. He ain't send no no no. He ain't send no, no gifts, dude. No, it's all good. No, nah, I mean last time I saw him, I was in Vegas. Okay. I saw him in Vegas. He was hosting that tournament. The guy, guys, nigga, send me something. Hey, I used to I used to play when I played competitive Call of Duty. Chris, you probably remember this dude. His name was Elite Soldier. Yeah. And uh, he was like Asian or something, and he like owned a dentist or something. Like, well, I, I mean, well, he was Asian, but I don't know when I say or something. Why do you got to do <laughs> he that? He was Asian or something. Why do you got to do that? You don't know where he lived in. <laughs> he he was in, no, he lived in California, but he was Asian. It's Oriental racist. I, like, I think it's like saying Negro. Because I used to say Oriental. I, I mean, of, I don't feel I don't feel like it is. is I it? think it's like saying Negro, but I don't know. It's like I, or, or saying Spaniard. It's like it's like <laughs> right. <laughs> bro, ain't nothing. There was nothing wrong with Spaniards. <laughs> nah, it's not. But um, no, nah, I. But you know, like Asian is an umbrella term. I got you. Okay, it's a huge. Place. So because that's what I know. Anyway, so he um he was a dentist and he owned his own dentist like company practice. practice. This guy had mad money. Like we'd play together. We were playing. Um, we were where we we were semi pro on the same team at one point, and um he sent me like this five hundred dollar toothbrush and like these toothbrush heads and just as a gift. He was like, "Yeah, man, love you, man." He used to call me. He's <laughs> he was so rude, man. He called me. He called me fat smoker because my name was Rat Smoker. Uh. You know what I'm saying? And and at that time, I actually was at that time. I was actually my smallest. I was like 285. That which was, was back. Uh, uh, I was yeah. I was on Sunset. Yeah. So I was actually at my smallest. But he'd be like, "Come on, fat smoker!" Like and it was funny. It was a joke or whatever. But um, you know, I call him names too. But they were probably racist. But. Um, <laughs> I mean, that was my boy though, but he sent me a, a really expensive like toothbrush. Um, you know, recently? I don't remember that. No, no, that's oh, years, back years, years ago. So I'm just saying, like, if your man's was in charge of Pokemon, he probably had swag. You could have been like, hey man, send me a charm, man. Bro, I, a I'm not interested in Pokemon. Oh, okay. Well, I guess see, that makes see, sense this then. is Mel's mind because I'm me. I'll be like, bro, that's investment. Yeah, let me get a uh, let me get that's uh, something. all day. Something that's unreleased. Pokemon, you can sell, man, that stuff is expensive. Man. Yeah, I want to know something that I did that was like, that kind of haunts me to today. You threw away all your uh, cards. Yeah, I used to have Pokemon cards. I remember when you did it. I was like, I had a crazy I collection. I said, nigga, are you crazy? Cra I had a crazy big collection that uh, I said, why would you do that? Why would you, even if you, even if you didn't play with them, and you were collecting them, why'd money. you just throw them away? I didn't want them anymore. He didn't want them. He didn't well, want them you didn't, you didn't want to. I didn't, back then, I didn't think, hey, I can maybe I, sell them. I have, I have a, a when I was in, when Obama got elected, I was in Detroit visiting a girl. Uh, I took a bus. And um, the next morning when he was like officially elected, I, I bought a paper from a newsstand for like 25 cent. And it's on the front, you know, bringing a new era, whatever it is. And I still have it. And I don't, you know, I've just, I'm just, every time I see it, I'm like, I want to keep this. Like, and it's not like in mint condition or something, but, you what know. Is it a flyer? It's, no, it's a, it's a, it's newspaper. a newspaper. Okay, what are you going to do with it? He's I, just keeping it. I just, I'm just keeping it. Just, you never, like, you never know, like, yeah, in, in 50 know, years. But... Okay, for example, you have, like, the, the Bernstein Bears and the Berenstain Bears, those books where they're, like, uh, what's it called? The Mandela Effect? Yeah. Right? Like, I don't know. You just never know. You know, some in 50 years, someone might be like, Obama wasn't the first black president. That, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. 
it's I don't expect it to sell for anything, but he, don't prove. he was the first black president. Yeah, I mean it's Detroit. I don't know Detroit News. Some, I mean you never president. know. There's certain wow. there's certain <laughs> things that you just this cup is not going to be worth anything in, in 50 years. You that's not that. true, Stephen. Okay, that's not right. true. All right, you're right. That's glass. Okay, you're right. That that you're right. That may be worth something because everything's moving to plastic. Yeah. Okay. And also there's vintage there's vintage crystal. And we think okay, it's crystal. Duh. But vintage glass okay. may be a thing. You're correct. This point. table is probably not going to be worth this anything. This table will not be worth right. anything. Right. Yeah, but um, this phone is probably, well, no, no, well it's used, but because brand new iPhones. Yeah, being made are, by slaves. Okay. Wow. I Nobody, we nobody even. Really dark place. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nah, I've, just, I've been watching uh, this this Joe, Joe Rogan, and they talk about how, like, cobalt is, like, made in these phones, the phone, for the phones, and there's, like, children. You let's know, let's let's keep it real. If y'all are trying to talk about slaves and stuff, let's keep it real. Uh, Americans are the most slaving people in the world. Enslaving, enslaving, as in we are making slaves. I, well, I said slaving, like uh, the most slaving, but uh, because we don't, we're slaves and we don't know it. Yeah, it's the illusion of freedom. It's the illusion of freedom, which is almost worse. Now you get to enjoy some comforts and things of that nature, so it's debatable. I'm not saying that our conditions are worse than. You know where you're talking about, but it's just the fact that people don't know you're being controlled. We're a prisoner of our own design. Like it's 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 darker. It's darker. Like it's it's more manipulative. Yeah, because it's like being in the matrix know. for real. At least if at least if in the typical slavery times they knew what was happening, they knew right. But now it's like people think that the forty hour work week is well. This is just normal. That's just no, normal. It's, you're not supposed. We're not supposed to be working this no, way. No, we're not. We we're supposed to be living on land and and farming and uh, you know technology and all that stuff. I don't have a problem with all that stuff, but we really should be. I think technology is one of the biggest reasons why we're in this like well, yeah, a but black tech, state tech, of yes comfortability. Well, that's that's a that's a part of it. Yes, I I listen. I'm not gonna lie. I like technology. I'm not gonna lie. I'm with you. But the, ancient technology, bro. You know, it's technology is killing good. this technology. But it is the it is the 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 what it's make it's just making us lazy. Yeah, and that's the problem. What ain't Chris? Do you have any I guess knowledge that you could share about ancient technology? Because I know a lot of people, um, they've been like when we would talk about ancient technology, they'd be like, oh, "I want to know about that." Because they don't know about it. And I was like, okay, maybe one of these days we can get Chris to drop some of these gems about ancient technology. Well, I didn't take my zero in today, but... Wow. <laughs> I need uh, put, a, put an ad in right here. Zero in. Zero Use in. Use my code. Zero, zero in. in when you but, want I mean, you ain't got to go super deep, but just something that what you just What is know. ancient technology? Just to, just to feed the minds of our audience. So, ancient technology, when I talk about it, and when you probably hear it or look it up, it's not, you know... Forks and and uh, uh, hammers oh, and mallets and stuff like that, which maybe you might think. I wasn't thinking that. It's advanced. When I say ancient technology, I'm really saying advanced technology. Yeah. Um. But it. But our. But what people don't realize is our technology has not progressed over time. Yeah. People think that our technology is. You think the the quote unquote natural evolution. Your technology gets greater. It's the opposite. Mm. I think during and this is just this, this is me speculating at this point. But I think during the dark ages, they they stole a lot of the information that we already had and they essentially reset us. So we think that our technology today is, oh, God, I got the world information. First of all, most of the information on this phone is a lie. So it's it's not as valuable as people think. Um, second of all, it like ruins everything about you. They're very unhealthy. <laughs> like mm -hmm. it's just um, but OK, here's a really cool piece of te technology. They had these beads. And they, they were essentially little Torah fields. Okay, what are Torah fields? Torah fields are, um, it's, 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 um, it's an infinite energy source, essentially. It's, it's, the, it's, the, it's the energy of creation. Uh, everything comes from a zero point. In a toroidal field, you have, like, uh, you have like these two, they're almost like poles. You can see them at like two poles. And they look like... They look like donuts. Imagine like two donuts, but it's energy. Just the way the energy flows, it forms like two donuts. And in the middle, you have the zero point, which is where everything comes from. And um, they had these beads that essentially were just infinite energy sources that you could use with other devices and things that they had at that time 
to generate frequencies. And with these frequencies, you could do all kinds of quote unquote supernatural things. I mean, you could manipulate rock. You know? So you'll see structures where the rock looks like it looks like they were able to melt the rock, uh, form it and then solidify the rock, which they basically were. Um, you know, uh, people talk about these structures and how much they weigh and how were they able to lift it with pulleys and stuff. That's because they didn't use pulleys. They, they used very advanced technology, which is not. It's ancient. Yeah. It's primitive technology, but it's advanced to us. And they were able to levitate things. So um, that was one of the coolest things that I found out. They also had these cone-shaped tools that... Uh, that would, would concentrate these frequencies. It's, it's basically Cesar technology. So they had these cone-shaped tools that they could use, and they might have two or whatever, and they could manipulate them. So uh, being able to carve, you know, being able to carve monuments and move large stones, and, and because they had the ability to move these large items and, and things, they were also able to build what, what I, I call gigacomputers. Uh, because giga, these, these computers, people think of computers as a laptop, but that's not like when you think about what a computer does fundamentally, it doesn't need to be a laptop to be a computer. Um, there's very, there's very rudimentary computers that existed, but that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about computers on a massive scale that were built the, 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 Imagine being able to design a computer, right? It's just a, it's a computer that has a function, does something, but it's made out of like stone. Hmm. So it never really stops working. It just works all the time because it's made out of something that doesn't get destroyed. And the, and the, the bricks are so heavy, like the stones are so massive. They're so dense. Even if a tornado comes, it's not going to mess it up. It's just, and they could generate, I, I, I think, I think that they had the ability to essentially teleport and not necessarily in a way, not necessarily in like a Stargate way, like, you know, what I'm saying in the sci fi, the fake stuff. Um, but there was a device that uh, this guy, he kind of he kind of created it. I don't know if he discovered some of the prints and figured it out, but he ba he built this platform that allowed him to levitate. Mm. This is a levitation platform. And and what he what he said what he said he was using was bug wings, so these bug people don't understand with bugs like bees for example they think bees fly by flapping their wings that's not how bees fly they levitate, so what they're doing is they're vibrating their wings that's why you hear flies and stuff that's why you yeah. hear them people you, when if you were just if you, birds don't sound like that think about it birds don't sound like that. They're, so what they're doing is they're actually vibrating their wings or what? Yeah, whatever. And it it gives them the ability to levitate to a certain frequency. Yeah. God. And, and so what he was able to do is he was able to find these very particular beetle uh, wings. Um, and basically he mounted them on this platform in such a way. And he had this flap and he was able to levitate. And he was also able to propel himself forward and backwards. And he said what when he used it, it created a a bubble. Okay, a, a, it was like this anti-time space gravity bubble. So he could fly at a thousand miles an hour and he, he was not affected by anything. Or there was no wind. There was nothing. And so these are some of the technologies that they had that and people and this is how messed up it is. People are so far removed from this information. They are going to instantly be like, oh, that's bullshit. Like they're going to instantly be like, no, that's that's fake. He's lying. Like that's not real. It does, you can't. There's no such thing as levitation. I mean, it makes sense to me. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm following. Like, okay, yeah, okay, bro. They, it's crazy. Like, if you look at a bug's wing at a at a with like a really high powered microscope, you can see the cones. They have these cones. Um, so it's the wing, and then there's all these little cones. And once again, it goes back to the cone shaped tools I was telling you about earlier. Yeah, our ancient our our ancestors understood this because it's the it's this. The reason they're able to hide this stuff from us is because of modern day mathematics. And I was actually talking about this last night. People think that mathematics is a concrete language, which it is real mathematics. But the mathematics that we are taught today is not that it mm. is. They're called math magicians because they can make money disappear. They can mm. make they can make space disappear. Um, 
A lot of people don't know this, and this is something simple people could research. Just kind of start them down the rabbit hole. Research where they came up with pi. Like pi, like the like uh, was it three point one four? Three point one four. Just re research. Do your due diligence. Research how they discovered pi or how they came up with pi. You would think that some mathematician was doing this and the square root of that, and he figured it out. No, it was a competition, and and there was theories thrown out, and someone won. It wasn't about who had the best information. It was just a choice that was made. It was a decision. It was a contest. And that's the reason why pi is infinite, because it's not a concrete uh, number. But if you think about it, in our world, there's, there's a fixed amount of space. Like, there's a calculable amount of space somewhere. It's not an infinite amount of space. There's no such thing as infinite numbers. But in math, there are. That right there should let you know something shady is going on. Like, mm. so um, if you understand and then, you know, it really just it boils down to like, think about computers and how they speak. X's are uh, ones and O's. Yeah. One, that's binary. numbers. That's math. So if you can manipulate the ones and O's, you can manipulate our reality because that's our reality. It's ones and O's. So that I mean, people just need to understand the core of things. Talk about it. Chris, what you got for us, Steven? Hey, man, you think that we'll ever... Hey, I'm going to tell you like this. I, I, I hope that um, in our time here on this plane, I would love to see uh, like teleportation, you know, um, in, in the sense of... How would you like to see television? Not, not like, not, bro. You walk through a Stargate. It ain't got, it ain't got to be. No, not like that. You but want, you want some random dudes just teleporting our crib? No, <laughs> no, no, no. They can't just hit a do 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 on their on their phone or just hit. We their, gotta have a barrier. Not even if it was, right. even if it was like instead of airports, we had teleports, right? Like even if it was, even if we saw just the beginning of it. Where instead of you know, and and obviously the the well, hopefully right, the price would be much cheaper because there's no gas, yada yada, right? And it's like, okay, well, I want to go to wherever, and then literally you buy your ticket, you show up, and you just walk, you walk through, they do their thing, and you're right there. Everything has to have a, a price on it, huh? Right, I, you there, you know, there's going to be no, but but the crazy part about it is, if that technology ever existed, it would be able to be distributed for free because. In order to you, in order to use a technology like that, it would have to come from a free energy source. Yeah, we can't. We're not going to create an energy source no, that can do that. That would that would that would be a uh, that would come from like the the free energy. What is the name of the free energy Tesla found? There's a name for it. I can't think of it right now. Perpetual. Uh, I don't know what you're talking. Nah, about. the the the, ener- the free energy the the tapping into the free energy that that's the ether? already here. Man, maybe, maybe that's it. I don't know. What you're talking about, yeah. But the free energy that's already in our world, it's infinite. Tapping into that. Um, being able to have literally like a watch that just literally vibrates to the frequency of it or whatever, you know, and just, you just, it's, you know, it, it would be, that would be, I would enjoy to see something of that nature because right now the best thing that we have is airplanes, um, which I ain't mad at them, but it'd be, you know, things are going to, things are going to, well, hopefully we'll continue to find out more of our ancient information, but, um, which people think as will continue to progress. Um, you know, the thing that sucks is that we'd be even, we would actually be in such a different place if everyone wasn't so hateful. Like if everyone wasn't like trying to get power and everyone wasn't trying to, you know what I mean? If we were actually working together. But that's impossible because that's part of it's, the, it's not impossible. That's it part of the human Nature? psyche. It's not, it happened. When what, what happened before the tap Tower of Babel, people were working together in unison. They were building a tower. The tower of Babel was the, the language thing. Well, they were no. I think they were trying to no, build no, a. No. They were trying to build into heaven. They were trying to build a tower to heaven. Melody from heaven. <laughs> it's, it's, just, from? it's just basically, you said it's basically a story of mankind coming together for one purpose, and and uh, God. We look at it. You can look at it as God that sits in the clouds. You can look at it as God the nature. You can just look at it as a a, 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 a entity Sky's that it. realized that oh you y'all can't do this. Like you can't be this unified. This is not going to be good for your own good because you because of what you're going to find when you make it to where you're trying you to think go. That's true. What? Um, 
this this story. I think it's a, I think because it's, it's good to learn and listen to it. But do you think this is an actuality of something that happened in our there's reality? There's stories. I think that stories come from places. Yeah, yeah. story, but stories can be exaggerated, yeah, of you course, know, or changed over time, of course, know, or filtered. Do I think that that people? Because I actually read a book about this also when I was down. And uh, because I had a lot of free time. (laughs) But um, do I think that this genuinely happened where people were creating this this tower with these mansions inside? Because in this book, that's what it was. It was about this Babylon. And, And in the book, they were literally creating living quarters because it got it got so high that it would take them months to actually travel. It sounds right? like an anime. They had, you it, ever seen Tower of God? I've heard of it. But they they it. created it's walkways like, where basically you were literally, you know, it's, it's constantly circling up. Mm-hmm. And they were huge. Like yeah. the, these, the, because you know, imagine the base of this yeah. has to, to be, be miles, massive. It's got to be miles. Right. Long. So so they were literally, it took it's like them. like an ultimate compound. Yes. And it got to the point where it was so big that everybody just lived inside of this tower and they got to the top, and there was nothing there. Like at the end of the book, there was nothing there. They just, they just, it just stopped. There was no, there was. Or like sword art. Online. I know. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I think in my head, I, I have an understanding. I, I believe that they Died reached the firmament. The no, they reached the firmament. Which they couldn't leave. Do you? Okay, yeah. But in the book, they said there's nothing here. Which would still be the same thing. Right. The thing is. I don't understand, and this could just be their their technology. I said, how can't they live at those altitudes? Because at the at those altitudes, the oxygen and everything. It's thinner. Well, you got to imagine we are we are we're sick. We live in a toxic environment. Our lungs are are, are operating way lower than they should. Right, right, right. So imagine if you were living in ancient times where you had great oxygen that wasn't all these chemicals in the air. True, true. We would probably breathe like I mean, super deep, like. Yeah. I mean, did you know that your 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 respiratory system is a digestive system also? I did not. Yep, it's a digestive system and it is a um it's a, it's it's semicirculatory system because I it helps to that. it helps move to the, move the blood. Bag. Well, it it helps to move like everything. Mm-hmm. Um and it's also a an unlimited system which you well, you need that. Respiratory system is a digestive system. Yes. What does it digest? So you know that we don't just so when we digest, it's not just food. So our air, our oxygen is our life. When you run out, you can you can you can live without food. You can live without a lot of things. You cannot live without air. As soon as you lose oxygen, how are you going to breathe without air? Let's ask Chris Brown. <laughs> That's that Jordan Sparks. Oh, Jordan Sparks. How am I supposed to be? Was, was Chris that? Brown in that? Yeah, he's speaking. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> no air. Eh, eh, no air. No, eh. no uh, but yeah, you can't, right? Yeah. Obviously, it, it's we need it. So the uh, so the lungs are part of our they're part of the digestive system. So you they have so the air has to then be imparted and then it goes through a process. Oh, for sure. What so, do fishes have? What? What do fishes have? I, I Are they the same? I'm not. Since they have. A, I'm not a fishologist. <laughs> Amphibians. Since they like breathe oxygen from water, they breathe. They do. Well, they probably would it be the same for them. It's similar, I would assume. Yeah, they, they would take the oxygen out of the out of the water. They have There's, a filtration system that allows them to pull the water through, extract the oxygen, and expel the water. Yeah, and it probably filters the water. Oh, of course, it filters the water. So it helps keep the ocean. As a clean. matter of fact, there's a lot of creatures that actively filter the water. I mean, and I mean, you think about trees, for example. So trees, they breathe in, um, they breathe in carbon monoxide, and they expel oxygen. And we breathe in the oxygen that they give us, and we expel carbon monoxide. So it's a cycle. So our bodies are filtering. This is why you have all the sacs and stuff inside of your lungs, the bronchioles, right? You have two that as Chris talks about your lungs are your biggest as in size organ in the body. They take up all of this, all of your chest, all of this. Your rib cage is designed to protect them. They're that important. So we we in intake oxygen and then it goes through a filtration system or digestive system and then it then it, we expel it and this is what the the trees use and it's a it's a back and forth. So that's why you be hugging trees. I mean, this is that's why it's important to be in nature. Yeah, but I want to uh, hug a tree. Yeah, but this is this is something that people just don't understand. So when they're so when the they're living, system. 
around smoke and all this stuff. It's like, bro, you don't understand. Like your respiratory system is so important. All your systems are important, but your respiratory system is so it's important. Critical. It's critical. It's critical. It's and if it's not functioning well, everything else is not going to function well, right? Because your respiratory system helps to fuel all of your cells more than your food, right? And regulate. It helps to regulate metabolism, blood pressure. You want to lose more weight? Well, then work on your respiratory system, right? I mean, and that does not necessarily mean cardio, right? That means getting away from these these things. I mean, you can literally lose weight by deep breathing. Yeah. Like deep breathing literally brings in way more oxygen because we already breathe shallowly. So deep breathing brings in way more oxygen and then it provides oxygen to cells and, and it helps to break down the brown fat uh, and then white adipose tissue, which is white fat, which is the stored fat. Like, my bad. I'm going off on that. You no, know? literally, you could lose weight. I mean, that's... I'm serious, what, 80% man. Of like, your, 80% of your weight loss comes out through your breath. Mel gave me that look like... Oh, I didn't yeah. give you... I didn't oh, give he look just... Oh, okay. I'm just like... Yeah, make that into a real. <laughs> uh-uh. That's not getting real. I'm just, I'm just messing. That's not getting real. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all don't want to... Oh, okay. <laughs> it'll be it'll be what it is. <laughs> don't I'm, be I'm just in the middle of the content like, all right, don't make that. No, I'm just, hey, I'm hey, just put, make that as real. <laughs> I'm just messing. Because sometimes you make me look. Hey, you make yourself look how you look. Oh, okay, that's true. <laughs> what did they say? That the, the uh, camera only captures what it sees. Yeah, man. All right, that's true. I do y'all right. think it's uh do y'all believe in outer space? Come on, bro. Why are you gonna... Do y'all think there's do y'all do you all think what's the point of what are we doing here? I wanna know. Do you all believe in outer space? I believe that there is um a very minimal amount of what we think is there is actually there. Do, I do you believe in the outer space that we've been uh, not I don't believe the narrative that we've been taught, no. Do you I, believe there's other planets and there's I, like a universe, a galaxy, or do you think that Earth is our only uh, realm of existence? I will say this. Um, I'm not sure. Right? I'm, well, what I, do you think? Well, I, I understand. Um, I, I don't know. What I, what I do genuinely believe is that we have what is called low Earth orbit. So I believe that they can get to the point where they can see the Earth, um, which is what we typically see in movies and all this stuff. Right? I don't believe in deep space. So deep space is like, oh, Star Wars, Star Trek, that type stuff, where they're traveling from galaxy to galaxy. I don't believe in that. I don't believe that in the in the way that we think it is, I don't believe that is what it is. If anything, I believe that we are multidimensional, which means that we can then hop from dimension to dimension, which may feel like deep space, but um, b- which also can mean, well, I'm going from, let's just say, Earth 1, um, low Earth orbit to then Earth X2 low Earth orbit in a different dimension. Does that make sense? No. Okay. Well, I one. don't understand it. I'm sure someone out there. Well, I, well, if you it. believe in deep use, space, use then the Marvel multiverse, right? Yeah. <laughs> Doctor Strange you said is a planet X1. I thought I'm just giving an example. I'm just, I'm just like, making what's... that up. So Earth, Earth, right? So okay. So low, low Earth orbit would be where the International Space Station is right now. Okay. Right. Is so they they can see the Earth. Right. I Is believe it? that they can go there. I don't believe that they can go into deep space, which is we went to the moon. We went to the sun or whatever. I don't believe Mars. that there's galaxies. I don't believe that. Mm-hmm. OK. What I do believe or what I think. Right. Is that what they consider deep space would be a different dimension and in, in our dimension. Right. We are in. Earth one, just for example, right? And then just what say they Earth two, Steve. Earth two, okay. You, so what? So what X. they believe to be deep space in another planet would really be a different dimension, which would then be like Earth two. So a different timeline, a parallel universe. Parallel, yeah. No, but it's so it's just a different dimension, like. But they're not actually going into deep space, um, and so so what they may be getting pictures of. Or what they may be seeing is f- f- somehow they are looking because they hide everything from us. They're not telling us the truth. They, I believe that they have the ability to see or peek into other dimensions maybe, but it's not deep space. That's what I believe. I'm not saying I'm right. I could be completely wrong, but it, I'm not, I don't push this on anybody. But based upon my, 
my research and what I believe and what I feel. Um, Your feelings. I mean, what I, what I, my research, so my thoughts and what I feel based upon my spirituality and what my intuition tells me is that these motherfuckers ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Ain't nobody going nowhere. <laughs> they go nowhere. And there's plenty. They're just chilling up there. And, bro, there's plenty <laughs> of science that backs this. They've, they've shot, they've shot nuclear missiles into the, into space, into our space. As in, they shot them and then they've exploded where they couldn't get out of where they wanted. You have commercials that put the stuff in our face, right? Like the Hen- or the the not the Hennessy commercial, the one commercial where you see the balloon breaking through the firmament and then the water rushing down. Wasn't that Hennessy? I don't. What, I don't think it was Hennessy. I feel alcohol. like it was green. It oh. was like um, another alcohol, Rolling Rock, something like that. Weird. Um, there's there's so many instances of this. That that they so like they aver- they put it in an advertisement yeah. of like what the truth is. In yes. Sense. So 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 I mean, Picard, it's, it's, it's I think the- his name was Picard. Uh, he was a scientist, and he he uh, he took a weather balloon. So the dude was a real dude. Yeah. And he took a weather balloon up as at, at that time the highest that any this is person before rockets and all this and stuff, stuff, right? Yeah, supposedly. And uh, he took this balloon up as high as anyone's ever been. And he described, it's actually in a magazine, there's a magazine where he, he had this article and he described what the earth looked like. But that was, that was, um, he didn't burst through the firmament. He like stopped. The, he, he stopped. He, he, he heard a poop. He but, said he heard a, 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 a something like stopped a ceiling, him. A gla- it's like a glass ceiling in a sense. Right? Yeah. Mm. That you can't burst through. What are your thoughts, Chris? <clears throat> um, Infinite knowledge. <laughs> infinite sage Hashtag infinite knowledge um so first of all space as we know it is fake right a hundred percent a hundred and ten percent space as we know it is fake just like math as we know it is fake right so that's number one can you clarify what fake is it means that whatever whatever <laughs> your idea of space is based based on what you've been taught because of school and um, you know, mainstream education and, and media, it's it's not real. It's fake. So uh, Elon Musk putting a Tesla in space, fake. Elon Musk sending a rocket to Mars, fake. Elon Musk sending a rocket somewhere and the rocket coming back and landing itself, fake. <laughs> like um, the the solar system, how the solar system works, how it works, the way it's, we've been taught, fake. The moon landing, fake. The sun, the way that the way that the sun, how the sun is described, the, the the nature of the sun, the size of the sun, the distance of the sun, fake. I mean, I don't know how else to say it. Fake, all of it. It's all no, fake. I, I'm with you. It's just you, <laughs> you know, the, there will be some people out there, but like, listen to this kook. Look, listen to this guy. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, but it's all it's always that someone who will always believe what they were. Taught. Well, here's the thing. What research have you done? Because anybody who will, anybody who will say that what I'm talking about, I'm a kook or whatever. You've done zero research. All yeah. you've ever done is listen to the mainstream narrative. And if you, if you, let's say that you're an astrophysicist, you're, that's still mainstream narrative. Yeah. You have not done any independent research outside of what you have been taught. So if you think that I'm a kook or you want to say, oh, he doesn't know what he's talking about. If you have not done any of your own research outside of any mainstream methods, you're the one that's the kook. Because real science is you going out and testing the environment. It's not reading it in a book. It's not theorizing. It's I push this I push on this tree and it gives me a reaction. It gives me feedback. And I'm and from that feedback, I'm I make my hypothesis and blah blah and there's a whole method. If you're not doing real scientific work that's outside of what you have been taught cuz you got to understand there's a box that we've been put in and you learn, even when it comes to the laws of physics, mm. there's certain things you've been taught are not possible. If you've never even tried to poke outside the box, you're the kook. Whose fault is that? Mm. Like, you, they gave you a box, laws of physics. You can't go outside of it. You're the one that believed that. Don't get mad at me because you believe that. So, um, anyway, the point is, it's all fake. So, when you start poking outside the box, you start saying, oh, shoot, there's light. I poked a hole in the box and there's light shining through. There's a whole nother world outside of this box they put us in. And then once you once you see it, you can't unsee it. 
Like, for example, and these, this is just simple stuff, right? People who aren't scientists, they're not going to do the research. Here's simple things you could do. You go online and you look up satellites. Mm-hmm. You look up satellites and you just look for a picture of a real satellite in space. Good luck. Look for a real satellite Good luck. in outer space. There's supposed to be 36,000 so like satellites 50, out there. 50,000 or something. Just so, so you should be able to get a real picture of a satellite in space. We have very powerful telescopes, very powerful cameras. We should be, if we can see the, the, um, if you can see the detailed craters on the moon, you should be able to see a satellite. And I ain't never seen nobody get a picture of a satellite from Earth looking up into the sky and have a satellite picture. You can't picture. even find a picture of a satellite from the from the Hubble or from uh, the, the space station. When you see the space station, Ooh. the space station is supposedly in low Earth Ooh. orbit where the satellites are. Yeah. Right? So, so uh, w- 50,000 and it's going around the earth all and like, the earth. but you don't ever see you never one, see satellite. one satellite. You never, they never crash into them. They never, they never, crash. They never? You, you never see it at all. <laughs> ever. I mean, I'm just saying like, they never, it, they, these, you're telling me these people got it plotted out so well. And it's not just, it's not just. Uh, uh, America satellites. No, you have China satellites. You have uh, Tony Stark satellites. You got right. Elon Musk satellites. Elon Musk satellites. Right. You right. got. Um, I mean, you have all these satellites that are not government regulated <laughs> as well, and so no one ever sees them. No one. Well, do you think it could be a satellite that's that's um, that's created that's different than what we expect? Oh, they're camouflage. They're camouflage. So here's yeah, the we thing. Have camouflage. <laughs> they have camouflage. Here, here's the satellites. thing. If 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 that's true, it still fits into my my original statement, which, which means is what not you, what, what you were taught was fake, right? Yeah. So, which means that they may have something up there, right? Yeah. But I I don't believe that. What what actually is is more true than anything is that everything is underground. So there are um like we talk about Wi Fi and satellites and all this stuff. All that information is is from what I've researched, all that stuff is in the ocean. Um, these these wires, these cables fiber are fiber optic cables, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they're fiber optic cables, and they're all in the ocean. They're in the ocean, literally, literally connecting Connected. us. Connected, connecting. So up. we don't need satellites and all this stuff. And I'm not saying that they don't have cameras and this stuff. And technology, right? That stuff is there, but they're not they're not connecting via satellite. Um, well, well, here's the thing. Satellites in the way that we are told that they are. Right. Because there, there's radio frequencies, right. which, which are different. And you can use boosters and stuff. And you can so, use boosters. So and- Elon launched a satellite to help out in whatever those countries are. Well, maybe it's really just he put up a tower. Or it could, or, be, a, or it could be a high altitude balloon. Right. Or there's which a is booster. What, which, which this is the technology that we actually see. Yeah, we actually see this technology. They have these these balloons that go up, and they're these high altitude um, balloons that could be up for days or weeks or months at a time. I don't I don't remember the timeline, but it's for a very long stretch of time, and they just launch a new one. You can see them on YouTube launching the balloons. So, um, but also radio frequency is powerful. There was a guy in Africa who developed a TV that doesn't need any wires. Not only does it power itself, but it can get a signal as well. No wires. Same thing with like Roku. You don't even need you don't even need TV anymore. You literally plug it in. It's got the signals on the back. That's all radio. It's all radio. So, but the point is if if GPS and the global positioning and the satellites, if it was what it is, you should have no dead spots. It's called GPS. Global. Not America you know, satellite, not Russia. It's a global satellite, right? So why don't why why do we have poor signal in very specific places where there's nothing there? It should still be there. Yeah. It shouldn't be a problem for it's it to a, be it's, there. It's they're 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 thousands of miles above the earth, right? It's thousands of miles. It shouldn't. It doesn't it's like, well, it doesn't make sense for it to be there. There's no one there. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah, because there's it no radio just tower. There. There's no radio tower. There's nothing, there's nothing structural there. For that signal to be relayed, that's why it's not there. Yeah, that's not why. because it doesn't make sense. Ain't no radio there. towers no, in the please. desert, baby. Yeah. So, so, um, so I I believe that there is a I believe that there is a uh, a boundary. We'll call it. There's a boundary that encompasses the Earth, 
and we cannot go further than that boundary, whatever it is. In modern science, they call it the Van Allen Van Allen radiation belts. Yeah, but apparently we got through them when we went to the moon the first in, time. In, in, but in now we can't get through times, them. They call it the firmament. I don't really know what it is. I don't care what it is. I my belief is that there is a boundary that we cannot pass, and everything is encompassed in this boundary that we can't pass. Um, hey, so, Mel, did you know that by chance? No way. There, there. So somebody asked a NASA. A uh, scientist, or he was a he was navigation or something, and they were like, "Well, because they were talking about going to Mars, or no, back to the moon, and or maybe it was Mars. It doesn't matter. They were leaving Earth, and they said, what is the biggest uh, problem that you guys are having trouble trying to solve uh, by going back to the moon or going back to going to Mars, whatever it is?'" And he said, "Well, there's the Van Allen radiation belt, and the Van Al- uh, the Van Allen radiation belt is a uh, a very strong high level." Um, level uh, belt of radiation that encompasses the earth that they don't know how to get through right they basically said that if we fly through it it kills all the, it'll kill everybody it's the radiation so high but yet we did it when we sent astronauts to the Lies. moon in the 60s in 10 cans using less technology than what is in our phones right now that's why the fact that people believe that we actually got to the moon like our and phones we, and we can't do it in 2023, oh, we we they said that they got rid of the technology that w- they used to take us to the moon. Oh, word! They said they that, got. They rid said of that it. they they figured we'll never use it again. They just got rid of it. Lie. When has the government? When? At, I mean, <laughs> like, come on, son. Like, and, come on. And son. now our our phones, my iPhone, not even the damn 14. This is the 12. Is more powerful. Then the computers, the navigation, the 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 thrust, the 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 calculation, the the it's more powerful than all of the computers that were on the space shuttles to get them to the moon. But you can't go back to the moon. But you can't go back. You can't go back to the moon. Maybe you never been. <laughs> but this is this is to my greater point, which is it's all a lie. And and then so now the question has to be, well, like why? Why did they lie? And you know, what's the agenda? Because you could just not lie. Right. You could just not lie about it. You could just allow it to just be, you could allow independent scientists to just figure out whatever they've been doing for thousands of years. Like, like I don't understand. Like, and that's the thing. People always say, well, that's always the pushback I get. Well, what's the reason? If I knew the reason, I mean. I think the reason would probably be something that we can't even fathom. It's something way bigger than like, us. Because like, while we're still following this lie, it's keeping us caught up on something that's going to deter us. Because if, if we didn't focus on space or being able to get to outer space, what technology is out there I, we don't know about? We I think that the one thing that I have heard amongst that community is it, it, di- it directly disproves God. Or the well, or the or the existence of our creation intelligently and not the Big Bang, because the Bible. Not exactly. I, I'm just no no. Not no I'm, exa- just, I'm saying I know. It's I'm saying that that is that an use. argument. I, I don't I don't know. Like listen, I listen. I'm not I'm not out here arguing with this with people. This is my belief based upon my own personal research. So I'm not saying I'm right. I'm not saying I'm wrong. But I mean. I don't believe what everyone else does. I, I think I think that um, a greater question is if they can deceive us about this, there's no limit to what they can deceive us about. It's yeah. an infinite loop of deception. It's a, like literally infinite loop of if deception. They can, if somebody, hey man, that sounds like somebody's bankai. That right. bankai <laughs> infinite loop of deception. That yeah. would be I, Isaac Eisen. Eisen, yeah, yeah. It's it's like that's the question. Is like. Oh, bro! If they can de- if they can deceive us about this, then what else have they deceived us about? Everything. Anything. Now, now, you're, now you start asking questions, right? Because you can literally, if if okay, if I can, if you're let's let's say that you know I, I have you in America, in your home, in your room, and somehow I can trick you into thinking that you're in the Sahara Desert. God damn. It's a wrap. Like, what do you? What can you do? VR. Like, yeah. Like, it's it's a wrap. So, with that level of control, they can manipulate you any way possible. So, what I've always come to the conclusion of, because we always think it's got to be this elaborate plan. I think it's very simple. I think it's control. I think it's control. Yeah. 
It's, I mean, is control not the most powerful thing in the world? Yeah, once you have that power, the, the power to control an entire country. Yeah. An, based, a country or even more. Yeah, based on information that you're putting out there to the media. What was Lelouch's? Lelouch's power is to control, right? Yeah. Like, do we get do exactly what I say, bro. There was um, there was this this interview that I watched with this dude named Jacob something. I can't remember his last name, but he worked for this thing called the Men in Black, and I believe I, I talked to Stephen about this briefly. But they were basically doing like they basically are, are like the Men in Black, where they say they seem people that have like these dark eyes, but mm. they're like a deep part of the government, and. They were basically killing people. You know, they were they, they would have their memory wiped and they and then they would kill people or so. But also during this time they gave like particular instructions of like when like outbreaks and stuff was, was gonna happen within the world. And so they were saying around 2018, 2017 to twenty eighteen that there would be like a massive uh, pandemic of people catching like or getting sick, something that's similar to the flu. And obviously that would correlate with what happened with um, yeah, the, vid. Man, the, the vid, you feel me? Mm. And even though it was maybe a couple years off, but now they're saying... And, well, What's he, coming next? He said in 2024... Uh-oh. Uh, which I'm... I was, if it's not going to happen in 2024... So 25, 26. It'll probably be a little later. But he's saying the next thing that's going to happen is there's going to be a massive invasion. Alien invasion. From like... Oh, it's yeah, already... Like... <laughs> there was... Sorry, I don't mean to cut you off, but no, did you see? Okay. The, well, okay, it's it's to your point, but something like that is happening with the Pentagon right now. Oh, really? Yeah. Apparently, there's like these like Martian spaceships that are like I forget, blue something. It's I literally just saw it this morning. Okay, let me finish cooking. Um, they um, there's going to be like a massive alien invasion, but it's not going to be real because what he was saying is that. He had a general that was with him and he they were showing him like, you know, it's a secret thing, but showed him like a, a ship, but it was not real. It hologram. Was, yeah, it was a hologram, but it looked so freaking real yeah. that he was like scared and startled and stuff. But he's saying like there's going to be um, like a, an invasion that happens, but it's all going to be like a hologram that happens. But if you see how easily people are controlled Based on what the media is telling them, mm. I can absolutely see that a hologram happens that shows an alien invasion, which will spark the government or people around the world to create a one world government. Mm -hmm. That's what they're saying that they're pushing towards. And that's going to happen in the next couple of years. We'll see if it well, happens. They've been setting up the alien invasion for a long time. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing you got to understand about these dudes. They play long ball. So even 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 before Roswell, Roswell. 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 Even before that, they've been setting it up with the pyramids and stuff. Like, um, here's the thing. So back to your your original question. Okay, so um, I do believe in interdimensional beings. So this is what would be called aliens. aliens. I do believe that there are uh, entities, creatures, or just other things in our reality that aren't ter they're not extraterrestrial but they but they're not what we would they're not humanoid they're not like what we would typically um see as a human being because you even see this in in you know ancient time with the um the cavemen the uh what do they call steve not homeo sapien uh, uh cavemen what are what's their designation Neanderthal. Neanderthals, right, with, with the, the big Neander eyebrows and the and, and yeah, the, the deep they're, they're, jaws. they're not us. They're not us. They're different, right? So, so we know we know that this exists to some degree, but obviously, the what we once again, what we've been taught is just a small piece. Because guess what? If we knew that we lived in the supernatural world, they couldn't fake. They couldn't. They could not control us. Like if we knew this, the the nature of the world, the true nature of the world we lived in. They could not control us at any level. People think that we live these great lives, bro. Like we live in boxes where energy doesn't even flow well. One of the most fundamental things that we need is good energy flow. And we don't even have that. Just like so, so we have to build an AC machine 
-hmm. in order to cool and heat our houses or to, you know, cool our houses. Um, Like we, we, we have to have toxic water pumped to bro. Like this is Frankenstein world. People don't think about, I have these, I've had these arguments with people who we have clean water and we have every luxury and we have climate control, this and that. But the fact that you even need this is the problem. Mm. It's like it's like the idea of going to the hospital. We have the best care. The fact that you even get sick is the problem. You shouldn't need care in the first place. Disease is not a natural part of nature. It is. OK, that's not correct. It is a natural part. However, it's not just random. Yeah. It has a purpose and a job and it happens for a reason. Wow. Right. Like when you think about bacteria, people want to demonize bacteria, but you need bacteria. Yeah, your body is 100%. mostly bacteria. Not only do you need it in your body, you need it to break down the food, the apple that you throw on the ground. Mm-hmm. Right. So it is it is it's, it's no different from an ant, a bee or the sun. It is needed. If bacteria died, we would die. Yeah. So. um but 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 go ahead and man, make sure you get some of them. Uh, make sure you get some of those. Uh, some of that alcohol. What's the stuff? The, 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 the sanitizing the stuff. Disinfectant wipes. Yeah, just no, not the wipes, well, yeah, but just that's, you know, it's on the yeah. But it kills ninety nine point nine 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 percent of all bacteria and viruses. Right. So I'm all that sure. good bacteria, you're killing that too. But this is the point, though. They take the bacteria and they demonize it, and now it's there's good bacteria, and now there's bad bacteria. And this is why people get they're getting even sicker when they start just constantly washing their hands. They're, they're killing constantly all their bacteria. Area. They're constantly using those alcohol. Um, s- what's the stuff called? Sanitizing. Sanitizer. You already said it. Nah, man. But what's the stuff called? I'm trying to. It's bothering me. Disinfectant wipes. Nah, not the wipes. Man, it's just the. Stop talking about these wipes. It's just the. It's the damn. Um, you know, they take it out their pocket. They went. Whoosh, whoosh, it's God. hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. That's what I'm looking That's for. What you've been saying the whole time. It's not what I said. I was. It was pissing me off. Anyway. Um, Bro, I'm, I'm so confused. <laughs> I didn't say hand sanitizer. That was the term I'm looking for. I'm pretty sure. Okay. I didn't. Uh, the point. The point. I was making a point. No, I was making the point. Fuck it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You don't even know when you interrupt somebody. <laughs> All the time. All right. Go ahead. Um, the, the, point, the point is bacteria is important and it's good for you in balance. But they take it. And they demonize it and they say, oh, this bug causes this disease. None of that's ever been proven. This is the problem with modern modern people. They don't research anything. Like germ theory has been debunked a hundred times. I debunk it in one of my in one of my classes. Germ theory is trash. It's made up. It's fake. Just like NASA and the cosmology that we've been taught, the math we've been taught. Everything's fake, but this is the point. But that's not what Google says. But this is but this is the point. If they can if they can trick you into thinking that you live in an ever expanding universe and you're flying through space at sixty six thousand miles an hour, like it sounds fake. It sounds like an anime, but that's what they teach. We're spinning at a thousand, and and our universe is propelling itself at sixty six thousand miles an hour, and we are and, and and the whole thing is. Rotating around the great, the great attractor, whatever it's called, bro, it's anime, and we don't feel any of it. Like, and there's anime. no wind, there's nothing. Why well, we don't feel it? Why be, we don't feel well, it? Because because of how it's all it's moving, gravity. and it's gravity. It's gravity. gravity. That's gravity what is gravity. Is that, that, is, that, that is that is that is that is that is. And if you take away gravity, the whole thing the falls whole apart. Thing falls apart. But they gravity. can't prove gravity. But they can't prove gravity. So, so gravity is a theory. Yes. Yes. And there's two, there's two, they get really compli- complicated with it so that when you start to try you to challenge you it, can't. you can't figure yeah. it out. But it's like two, there's like a, a, the, there's like a law of gravity and a theory. It's, there's two things. Dude, we about to get cooked. Oh, we're going to get cooked. We about to get cooked. Oh, we're going to get cooked. By the science. We're, we're going to get cooked. It's, all, it's by, a wrap. By the scientists and people who got the degrees. <laughs> I, I oh, got, my God. I got my Scientology degree. Oh, my God. <laughs> All that, you know what I mean? It's double, a, double, double PhD in double Scientology. PhD. <laughs> but your paper's not getting you any outcomes. I know too many people. The sm- it, um, Warren Buffett. What's Warren Buffett? <sighs> no, it was a different wealthy dude. It wasn't Warren Buffett. It was a different. He's like got the big. His glasses are so thick. <laughs> Y'all know he's like a, he's like a really rich Warren, white dude. Warren Buffett got thick glasses. He's got the thick glasses. He oh, said. No, he said. Um, the, he said, the smarter you are, uh, the harder it is for you to make money. It was something like that. And, and he's like, you know, the, the people with the PhDs and the degrees. Now, he did it very 
eloquent. Like, I think he did a very good job of making it sound good. He was like, he said, think about it. If you're an engineer, you're designed to test things and, and you know, uh, press it to a point of failure and, and risk management. And you're always, you're literally always testing and making stuff fail. And, and you basically will talk yourself out of doing something because you, you, you're all, you, there's always this error. There's always this, this room for failure and er error. But as a business person, you have to take risk. Like you can't be that analytical. You can't, you're not, you have to take risks. As a matter of the failure is part of the growth. So, um, but, but but the way I interpreted it is there's a there's a level of manipulation. There's a level of control. D D Rockefeller was a gene. He was an evil genius. It was a level of control that is imparted to compulsory education. You there's a level of manipulation. There are there are there are special interest groups that fund these colleges. If you don't understand the politics behind it, you just think, no, we're just learning. And it's just it, there's no roof. There's no barrier. We could just learn. But no, there's people with interests that that donate to the colleges. Do you think they're doing it just so you can freely learn? Like it doesn't even make it's not good business. Yeah. It there's a in every relationship, period. In every relationship, there's a give and take. In every relationship, you cannot expect people billionaires trillion trillionaire company or trillion dollar companies to invest because that's what they're doing they're not just donating and get no return it doesn't even make business sense so you have to think what is their what are they what's their benefit well guess what if you're a pharmaceutical company mm. you can say okay look i know you guys are struggling we we really want to help you out we love higher education here's a trillion dollar or a trillion might be a lot <laughs> Here's, here's, I mean, they got it. Here's, here's a trillion here's, dollars. Here's twenty. Here's twenty million dollars. This is a medical school. This is you know like a top top end medical school. Here's twenty million dollars. Push it. Tweet, push the education a little bit towards pharmacology for us. It's a it's a give and take. Push yeah. push the education. A little bit towards pharmacology. And it makes sense because if they're paying, if they're investing that much more money, that's more opportunities for that school to make money. Correct. Hey, the more you, the more hours, as a matter, here's what we'll do. We'll give you a bonus. The more hours you teach of pharmacology, there's an extra five, ten million every time for every hour that you teach pharmacology. So now guess what? The school's going under. It doesn't really have a lifeline. This is, you're making a deal with the devil. So guess what? Over years, because it's not just it's not just 20 million to save the day. Well, something screwed up about your business model to begin with, because why are you why are you why do you need the 20 million? Right. It's not like they're teaching them how to fix their business structure mm. so that they don't need the money. They're just spoon feeding them. They're, they're giving them a fish. So every so often they come back. Y'all ate that last fish. You got another one. Yeah. A little bit more pharmacology. Right. And so now you can when over 20 years, 50 years, you can manipulate. And it's a it's great business model for them. And it's not just that's just one example. It's everything. <laughs> I have nothing to add. <laughs> hey, let's y'all want to. Uh, hey, appreciate them gems, man. Appreciate Mel, you gems. you uh, set us up for episode 60. Hey, man. Hey, I got to get the people what they want, man. They want oh, that. Oh, is that what they want? They want that ancient knowledge. They like the health stuff. You know what I mean? I I'm just trying to feed the people, man. Hey, but hey, we got to get a little ratchet real quick. Mm -hmm. Just get a little ratchet real quick. We got to touch Make on some trending topics so we can touch on these algorithms. You mm -hmm. feel me? Um, okay. Are you all familiar with the basketball artist or basketball player named Ja Morant? Yes. Okay. Currently... He is. He's been. He's on a leave of absence. I'm not sure if he's like been officially suspended, but he is been. He's been seen on IG, Instagram Live, like waving a gun, and he's also been. He's threatened last year. He's threatened to beat up a, a 17 year old by gu by gunpoint and stuff. They have like messages with him and his mother, like trying to like identify who this guy is so they can go get him and stuff. And so all this has leaked out, obviously. And now like the sports world is up in a panic because John ja Morant is one of them ones. 
Like he's like the next Allen Iverson or next. I saw him dunk on a dude the other day. Bro, <laughs> he has like the most nastiest dunks. He even said like on one of his tweets, like, jump with me if you want to go viral. <laughs> <laughs> like he just be yoking on people, man. But he's definitely one of those those talents that And he's got swagger for days. Yeah. Like, the dude has got juice, bro. But before he became into this 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 who he was, I was like, I like this guy. I like this guy. But now <laughs> I'm starting to wane away from him just because he talked a lot of trash to Steph Curry and all that stuff, but he hasn't had has a resume to back it up, mm. you know. But now he's in all this this um, this this hot lava because of his 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 personification, and the question that I have is just like, how do we? How does a rich person or a person who is has the world basically at his fingertips in a sense is like he has contracts that's going to be 237 million within like the next four years or so and you know he's got he gets spot how much like 237 million four 230 237 million in the next four years yeah and but he's also he just got signed by nike and so nike they recently dropped kyrie irving in place of and they replace him with John Moran. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Right? That makes a and this is back to the control mechanism. Go ahead. <laughs> and so they replaced him with John Moran. The funny thing is, is like when they came out with the shoe, they said it looks just like similar to Kyrie Irving's well, shoe. Well, you already know what they did. Exactly. You know, it's just like a mix and match. Like, okay, he's out, he's in, you know. And so, like, the question is like, how do we get people out of that mindset who are um, I guess who are who are in prominent roles, but they still have that diminutive mindset when it comes to, you know, moving better and making smart decisions. Because flashing your gun on IG, you already know how that's going to look. You and you know, brandishing yourself at, at a strip club, and you know, threatening to beat up a seventeen year old kid when you have f- almost four hundred million dollars, like that doesn't make any sense. And I understand, like, because another argument is that people say that he is not who he is, like, letting up to be. He's like, he lived a good life. There's no reason for him to be acting out like that because he's only 23 years old. And there's no reason for him to be acting out like that as far as, you know, showing guns and acting like a a thug, in a sense. You know, being gangster for no reason. So it's like he's trying to display a lifestyle that he's not actually living. And a lot of people are questioning, like, what is the issue that is allowing this to, I guess, you know, blossom the way it is? What are you all thoughts on that particular situation? This is what happens when you grow up and you live in a shamed environment. When you live in an environment that tells you that you have to be edgy, that tells you you have to be a thug, that the that pumps this music into you, that you got to be hood to be attractive that teaches our women that these are the type of men that you want, then this is what you get. Um, it, it's, a, it's an environment of, once again, shame. It is not allowing the Michael B. Jordans of the world to just be themselves. They get clown, um, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, a, it's, it's the, the John ja Morant who like, yo, th- it's okay to just be a good black man. You don't need to be hood. You don't need to have a gun being flashy. You you know, and this is and this is all stuff that that is going to come from him being a child, right? How he's growing up. He probably grew up in an area where he was the good kid, and he probably got made fun of. So now he's got the fame, he's got the money, he can buy a gun, he can do these things. So now you do them, right? He's still young. So that's where that's that's where that stems from, in my opinion, right? Where things are going wrong is his circle. He has a bad circle. Um, the people in his circle r- really should be steering him completely different. The problem is that he has people in his circle that he wants in his circle. People that are going to tell him, yeah, bro, Ja, you know what I'm saying? I've, I've, seen, I've seen the memes and stuff with him, you know, his gun thing. Like, he's on the court, you know, shooting guns, you know, for people making threes. Like, bro, you're going to get a charge. This is what's going to happen. He's going to end up... Um, at 3 a.m. in the car, d- drunk or drinking with people um, in, a, in a city that he's not supposed to be in with a gun. 
and he's going to get a charge. That's, it's going to happen. Um, and, and this is the path he's on if he doesn't make changes. And the way that he makes changes is that he just needs to change his circle. Um, his, his close five is people, the, you know, change them from yes men to people that are like, hey, man, listen, you know, this is, this is also where, I mean, I would like to see if he grew up with two parents. I'd be very curious if you grew up with a father. Um, oh, he did. His father's at all his games. Okay. Um, well, then, yeah. So he probably so had they a good. Were married. I'm not sure about them. Okay. Well, that makes a difference. Makes well, when I say grew up, I'm talking about. I'm not. I mean, I have a father. I mean, we're talking about a married. Uh, yeah, married. He's in the house, like a two parent household, um, because it sounds or it comes off as if he was raised by a single mother, which means he was in. The, you know, he he was fighting against the authority. I don't know. I'm just. I'm just. Bro, I'm he, 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 well, he, he was raised by social media. He's 23. Yeah. yeah he was raised by social media. This is this is the result of the toxic world that we've designed. The social media world. Yeah. I mean, to the point where you know where people are saying, "Oh, that's not him. He shouldn't be doing that." Yeah, it is. That's his culture. Yeah. This is what we're. This is what we're getting. That's what we're getting. Stop trying to say that he's um, acting out and whatever. No, he. This is this is the world, bro. Amber Rose is on OnlyFans. She has a nine-year-old son or a 10-year-old son, and she's on OnlyFans fingering herself. Wow. And he has to go to school where the boys at the school have access to her OnlyFans. What do you think that's going to do to a boy? <clears throat> to a child. Bro, the like, level of bullying? Or bro, like, it's... Just imagine if we had that in our times and we grew up with like siblings or parents who had an OnlyFans. Bruh, it's a wrap. And anyone can access it. No, they have to be 18 or older. Whatever. Bro. No, you, you know need how many a credit cards. Yeah, how many kids get into stuff where they're over, say they're over 18, but they're not? Yeah. So so in a world of TikTok and viral hits and people recording everything, imagine, you know, anything that you ever did. I have a I have a photograph of me holding, sitting on my couch at home, holding my brush because I got the wave. You know what I'm saying? You know I had the spinners. Stay, back there. stay with them. Spinners. Stay with them. And I'm sitting on the couch, chilling in my house, in my boxers, holding my brush. It looks like I'm masturbating. The, the way the picture is, the brush, the tone of my skin, the tone of the brush, it looks like I'm masturbating, right? But, but I took, I know I wasn't, so I didn't look at it that way. But that's how it looked, as up to the point where. Uh, Walmart, Walmart wouldn't process the pic because you know back then they we had digital cameras. You click, you know what I'm saying? You have mm. to film. They wouldn't process it. They say you got to send that to a special place for like pornography and stuff. Wow, that's how you could. It wasn't like you could see the tip of my penis. It just looked like it was in my hand. I was holding it. It was clutching. It was in my hand because the the handle of the brush, right? It's just and I was in my boxers. It was just the way it was. <laughs> imagine about thirst traps. <laughs> imagine living in a world where I can never live that picture down. That picture is analog. Like, nobody has that picture. It's analog. It's probably destroyed at this point. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But imagine a world where you can never live that down. The type, what it, the stress and the strain it puts on somebody, how it fractures their psyche. Yeah. That's what people aren't. Don't just blame this man like, oh, you just need to straighten up. Bro, the world is trash right now, right, especially right. for young people. Yeah. And if you don't have, and this is to Steve's point, if you don't have the structure, the structure that you get from a, a two parent household, or at least that structure. Yeah, I mean, he may have both parents there. I mean, I'm just saying, like, it, it's really his environment, not necessarily just his parents. I was just, I'm just going off. Well, the of, parents play a big role, right? Yeah. Uh, because what the parents would have to do is they would have to be tuned in to what the right. children are doing. And most of them are not, and they're especially not. now. Right. They're growing up on social media right. with their phones. And even I see it with my kids, right? Where I'm like, all right, listen, you got to get them off their phones. Like We're blessed because we came during the change. Yeah. We yeah. know how toxic it is. Before and after. We've, we've seen we've both seen sides. We've seen both. But our parents have no clue. Yeah. They have no idea. So his parents, they probably missed the train. You know what I'm saying? So they wouldn't know to even be like, hey, don't spend so much time. You know what I'm saying? It's just the, the error is different. Mm. And then you have to think that he's probably the the breadwinner now. And so oh, it'll probably now. be two, 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 four, what, 237 in four years? I mean, bro, he's, he's, and not just for his immediate family. That's just, that's yeah. just his, um, his, sponsorships. His, but if you think about that, like if you got this big breadwinner, He's going to be the one to like. The, oh, this thing is ego. The shots. His ego is crazy. You know, and twenty three. So it'll be hard to counteract that twenty twenty three year old ego 
with you know seeing how much money he's bringing in and the attention. He's a draw. He's a he's a Bro. Steph Curry, LeBron, KD type draw. You know, and so I already I'm thinking that the NBA is going to try to do something because they know how electric he is. And I'm 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 assuming that they're going to go in the dark and What do you do mean something. to try to protect him? Yeah. Yeah. To protect on the, on their the back interest, end, of course. To protect Okay, their yeah. Because you don't see Yeah, yeah not him, but but yeah, he's money. I mean because look, Kyrie all he did was send out a link to a video. It retweeted it. He wasn't gets, even wasn't even his. He gets demonized like oh my gosh but this guy is showing guns well, and that just beating up 17 year old children and like bro because that's what that's okay in our community like how is how is this guy sending a tweet to a link to a video that's talking about something that could possibly better you versus someone who's gone viral for flashing a gun and being in the news for beating up a 17 year old kid but he hasn't been dropped by Nike Nike said they're going to they're going to rock out with yeah, him because they like you know, just yeah. like we talked about before they like the violence through a hard time look at the end of the day like come on man at the end of the day um no one man can have all that power he's not he's not equipped for it's the same thing that happens to to people who win the lottery it's the same like you, you're not equipped. There's no foundation there to support that type of financial uh, income. That that income, you know, it money brings out the essence of who you are. If you're a good person, it brings it out more. If you're a bad person, if you're a depressed person, mm. if you're whatever, it brings it out more. That's deep. So I whatever, like whatever, whoever you are, you get to see people uh, in spades when they have a lot of money. And that's all that we're seeing here. We're seeing a fractured young man who lived, grew up in the most, in my opinion, in recent history, the most toxic era that any person oh, could ever grow up It's just getting in. worse. Yeah. It's just getting worse. Just imagine when those kids have kids. Oh, bro. Well, you have Amber Rose. Armageddon. You have Amber Rose who came from a toxic uh, era. Yeah. So you see what that was. So now it's all bets are off. You're going to, I mean, it's going to get to the point we, where you have these these uh, underage children doing OnlyFans and doing whatever. We are just seeing the very beginning of this. We don't have, they, we know what's coming, but they don't, women, the ones that, the ones that are on OnlyFans, girls that are on OnlyFans, they don't understand truly how this is going to affect them, mm -hmm. right? Oh. Not just, not just them, because- all of us disqualify a woman immediately if she's on OnlyFans. Even if you had an OnlyFans, in my mind, you're instantly disqualified. Like, I mean, oh yeah, that lets me know what you value of yourself. Right. Like, I don't want that. You're instantly disqualified from any anything other than fun. I mean, if she has her OnlyFans for a business, but does it involve what, like what, stripping what do you mean? nudity? What do you mean? Because you can get on OnlyFans and uh, do stuff. I, we, we, it's, yeah, it's, I mean, it's synonymous that's, that's with the yes. exception to the rule. Yes, yeah. but I understand that. But nobody, nobody's really. You know, they're what I mean? not. But there's some. But there are. Okay, right. I'll. I'll. <laughs> but I mean, we know it. Yeah, we know what it's synonymous for. for right. Showing that exactly. Thing, so me? if you have an OnlyFans, I don't care who you are. I don't care how good you look, how much money you have, like. I will not be in a relationship with you. I'm not. I'm, I'm not gonna. Yeah, we could be cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you know what I'm saying? Like, it could be fun. I mean, there could be. There, Give me the discount. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, wow. you know. What I'm, oh, wow. <laughs> but I mean, I like. I mean, I have. I have people that I'm friends with that I found out that they had OnlyFans. Like girls that I worked with. You know what I'm saying? That I was like cool with reconnected, da-da-da-da, like, Adam on Instagram, you know, and then saw they had OnlyFans, I immediately unfollowed them. I'm with you. Because immediately I, I, unfollowed I, them. I, I do the same thing. No, no, no girl, I'm not trying to talk to her, I'm not dating her. I said, oh, no, nah, never mind. Because I know, and everything she's posting, oh, check out my Amazon store, check out, I'm like, bro, no. The, the energy behind it. But even if I found out in years later that you had an OnlyFans, that stuff is still there. You delete your account, I can still search your name. All you gotta do is go to Reddit. I mean, a lot of it ends, ends up on Pornhub, right? And I don't know if people, I don't know if they're upload. I don't know, but I know no, it ends up. No, they're on not. Pornhub. People just Some up. People, do. people just. I mean, yeah, but people upload stuff. Mm -hmm. They find it. They can screen record it and yeah. just upload it. Dude, upload. and now that they have like these deep fakes, oh, they man. be making like 
like those type of videos with we can put sex, people together. They can put other people's like faces celebrities on like bodies. So like yeah. just say you had a crush on a girl that you liked, mm-hmm. you can like swap her face out with like one of your uh adult stars or yeah. whatever and it'll be on there. Bruh. This is crazy. Yeah. It's a it's a this the, the 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 women themselves are going to um, are going to suffer from this in the next coming years because the men that they want they don't realize it but the men that they want they right qualify. when they they're men that they are going to disqualify them because they think that well I'm getting all this attention from men it's sexual attention they want to have sex with you but the men that these women genuinely want are the men like us we're like oh absolutely not never. Like a man that is quality, a man that's going to offer value, that can go out and change your tire, a man that is going to, uh, you know, that, that's that's going to. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like all the things I ain't that. Damn time. <laughs> nah, yes you would. Yes you damn. Yeah. Or or you or. Get your ass out there. No, no, you're you lying. Read that instruction you're manual. You're lying. Yeah, why you? you I know he's up here perping. <laughs> Either you would change it, or you would, or you would make sure that someone no, came and change it. On this very podcast, we have we have heard of you doing I, I, right. I, I, I would, remember a battery situation. Actually, I didn't change the damn battery. Okay, but what did you do? You paid for it. I paid for half of it. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, what I'm saying I'll is, put a little bit you gotta on put it. in on it. No, but, put a bit on no it. what I'm saying is, is that Jeez. those are those. That's only because that y'all were in a relationship for a small amount of time. She can't help me when I was If sick. you were in a relationship for longer, you would have taken care of the whole thing. Yeah. You would have said, "Baby, don't worry about it. Take my car to work. I'll go ahead and take an Uber over." I'll get the car. I'll get the battery. I'm and you don't. You say that you may look at me like this now. Steve, Steve he, just, everybody knows I'm what it is. I'm not saying I won't do it. No, it's that look. Just it's that me. look. We all know what it is. But this is what I. That's what I would do. Here, baby, take my car, or I will take you to work, and then I'm gonna take care of your car. Da da. I mean, bro, like I this will is what definitely do it, but. I will be complaining. Yeah, that's fine. You can complain, but you'll do it. It'll get done. She'll have her car. But this is what those women want from men. But the women that are on OnlyFans are not getting that type of thing in the future from those type of men. They're going to get the men that are like, oh, I just want to have sex with you. Or I want to fly you out or da da. Like, yo, you'll get finances and stuff. What if she reformed her life? Like bro, if, grow. bro, if I if I find out that you he had an if. OnlyFans, yeah. it's 21. over. She's 21 years old. Okay. And then uh, you meet her when you're 30, but you find out she had Okay, so nine fans. years later. Yeah, nine years later. But she, you know, she's a very spiritual person. She's holistic. She cares about what she eats. She cares about the things that she put out there. She don't even have, a, like, social media like that. All okay. she had was a past OnlyFans. Am I able to search her OnlyFans still and see her naked on, on the internet? If it's, if it's possible. I'm just saying, if I if I put if she tells me, like, and I, I say okay, well, okay, let's say she has it because you, there's ways you can like pay people to make sure it doesn't get online anymore. Oh. Uh, she's gone through all the loops to make sure it doesn't show online. But she's like, hey, Steven, I'm just let you know I do have a past. I got an OnlyFans, but this is who I am now. Are you gonna hold those nine years ago against her currently? If she's everything that you want, you know what I mean for a past because people grow, people grow, people learn. You know what I mean? Mel, let's 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 be let's keep it real. What you're talking about is a one in ten million. It's a, it's, I, know, okay. I know. I, so, so I, you, I, need, I mean, so I need to know the level the only, of commitment. The to only this. reason that I'm even considering it is because you basically painted her in the, in my head. You're painting a picture of my perfect woman. I mean, the odds of me finding my perfect woman okay. is, what is, if, is number one is low. Right, I'm talking about if I, I mean, I've wrote, I've written this out where I'm like, what is my perfect woman? Number one, finding her is low, but to even so find her, and she previously had an OnlyFans nine years ago, and now it's gone. It's hard to find these pictures. I mean, would I consider it? Yes, I would. Okay, yes. Is that the answer you want? Is that the is that the answer you want for me, Mel? Hey, it's okay if you want to date an OnlyFans chick. Date an OnlyFans. Here we go. Chick. All right, here look. We go. Here, here's the thing. But we're talking about what, as Chris said, one in a million. It's here, so here, lo- the odds are so low. We're, you're, we're 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 talking about the exception to the rule, right? When we're speaking yeah. earlier, we're speaking about the rule. The rule is if you did OnlyFans, you're disqualified. Right. You're disqualified. You're talking about the exception to the rule. There's always the exception to the rule. However. What's the chances? What's the what's the probability that that we're going to come across that girl? It's it's probably not definitely low chance. So it's it's inconsequential. 
Now, I, I would agree with everything that y'all have said up until to this point as far as that goes. But yeah, if a woman is if a woman is who I need her to be today, and I see that there is a pattern of growth in her life, I'm not going to 100% disqualify her because of her past. However, if it's shaky or if she isn't showing that, her past absolutely matters. Yeah. Because what else do you know about them? You're getting to know them. So you look at their past. Who has she dated? This is why Lori Harvey is in deep doo-doo. Oh, she in deep doo-doo. Oh, bruh. First of all, first of all, future. Say less. Then you Don't future got like 10 baby mamas or something. Then didn't didn't she get a tattoo or something? Jesus. And and then then you curved Michael B. And then you're engaged to some dude like six months later, something like that. An actor. And and, and now you're engaged. not and now you're not engaged. Oh, you're with bro. Somebody she else. just she just like, she just running so, the game. So, so just... guess what? Guess what? It doesn't matter how beautiful she is. Mm. She doesn't qualify anymore. She's got bad history. She's got terrible history, bro. There's no way. Steve that Harvey's it, daughter? Yes. Oh, Jesus. There's no way that looking at that, and also she's Steve Harvey. That's right. just which, spoiled which like means, crazy. Which means that you should know what you want, right? If, if you had Steve Harvey, which is the relationship oh, guru. On, bro, do, oh, no, 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 oh, no. But you, I'm saying that's, Steve should have taught you. No, that, that's which, not even fair. That's which means, uh, listen. Uh, I tell you I mean, what, uh, it, would you not, if uh, you uh, knew, if you knew that that was, if, if you I, I walked. Wouldn't know. You because wouldn't think I, that we, this girl we, would know how to be soft, would know how to be feminine, would know how to pick a man, would know what you wouldn't think that? Not me, because I Steve Harvey's stuff is BS. I mean that I, well, book oh yeah, that's, Think Like a think Man, like a that man. book is bullshit. Trash. Like it, so no. I think that you're getting the outcome that it makes sense. It all makes sense. Damn. But uh Lori Harvey is in trouble, bro. Because what what's we the only at this point in time, she's a toy. She doesn't. What does she do? She doesn't do anything. She's yeah. Steve Harvey's daughter. Yeah, that's the only Just reason the why she is who she is. First of all, she's absolutely gorgeous. She's one of the most beautiful women in, like, oh, where? No, oh, oh Lori like Harvey that. is a. She's a nine. She curved. She curved Michael B. Yeah. So yeah, so B, so so that she it's her beauty and it's her status as Steve Harvey's daughter and that's who she is. But her past and who she's dated. No man of true value. You're going to look like a fool now. Mm. You have to go. Like, Michael B was your best option. So now, I mean, it's pretty much a wrap. Man, she, she's good. she looks good, man. Bro, she's she's gorgeous. Hey, man, I saw that. She's saw, like a 9.5. I saw Creed, and I was just like, hey, man, how, he's only he's my age. He's 36. I said, man, how do I get into his shape? He, if Michael he, B? Yeah, he's 36. Mm. He just turned. He just turned thirty six in February, so I'm technically older than him. Okay, shout out to Michael B. Yo, you know shout out saying? to Michael B. We rock. He out is in amazing shape. In the beginning, you know like he's February short, right? Or oh, okay. You he's, know he's short. Right? He's short. Yeah, yeah but he he's was gotta be diesel. He's, yeah, he. How, him see, and how tall is Michael B? Look at Michael. I, don't know. I bet right. he's less than six foot. Oh no, no, no! Nah, he ain't six foot. His height? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I bet he's like five eight or something. He might be five ten. I think he's less than six foot. Okay, that that's probably. Not oh, he's six, he's six foot. foot even. Oh, he's six foot. Okay. That, then they, they Google they Google. Awesome. Yeah, he's five. They, he's five. Awesome. He's five. He's ten. Five. Eleven. Five. five ten. Five. Y'all hating? I I I. You know what? I said he was short, and I, that wasn't even. He's average height. <laughs> I'm thinking from my standpoint. Yeah, you six six. <laughs> he's average six, height three, is what six, I should have oh. said. Yeah, he's short. Everybody gonna be short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. All right. We can. There's like two more topics I really want to oh, talk no, about. But, we, uh, okay. we but all right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, hey, I want to give a special shout out to everyone out there. Show me love. I appreciate y'all. You know what I mean? Show me love on my day. I actually, I actively deactivated my Facebook. Uh, Comment section? No, like for, for my birthday. To see how many people reach out. <laughs> <laughs> I told Shell... I, I told Shell that you would do do that. Literally, we was talking about it yesterday. I was like, You yeah, know he, you can just remove your birthday. He does have it removed. I just did. I just I literally just said that. No, 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 no. But why did you deactivate the Facebook? No, I didn't deactivate I deactivated the birthday thing. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. I was yeah, I you was, were on your phone, wouldn't listen. Okay, well, this is an important message, so Okay. I'm just saying why I you miss it. I and I said sorry and I owned up to it. <laughs> it's, not that, it's not that big. You don't have to rub it in. <laughs> hey, hey ha- happy birthday. He's 40 this year. 40, yeah, me. Um, 
uh, grown, wow. no. Bro, if I'm forty. Yo, you need to put you that. You fifty. You need to. Put, <laughs> <laughs> that's not even true. Like, yeah, like, me. But yeah, I appreciate everyone who um, uh, who commented or uh, reached out to me, messaged me. Uh, everyone who didn't, who who know who rock out with your boy. Yeah, man, I probably got a little chip on my shoulder because you know I'm an emotional dude, but I ain't tripping. Uh, Felicity gave me like a really dope gift. Bro, I didn't even know it was your birthday. Exactly. Yeah, because mo- unless it's like uh, Facebook notifications, cats don't really like pay attention to people's. Bro, we don't. In general, we don't even talk about it. Like I know your birthday. I I I, I know all my my circles. I <laughs> I don't. I forget Chris's birthday. It don't take it personal. It's just you know. I'm what I mean? not taking it personal. Okay. I love oh you, yeah, man. he is. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Like, you just better not try to invite him to no birthday stuff. Wow, he said stop touching. <laughs> like. I, you know, I mean, but salute to the people who rock out with me. Like, even oh, my wow. aunt, Shade. even my aunt, she posted, she didn't, t- it's like, she put my name, but she didn't tag. Like, oh, they don't, yeah. know, they don't know how to do she, it. She's like, you want to give a shout out to my nephew, whatever, no, because I got a few other cousins. Like, yo, aunt, you got to tag me. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I was scrolling down while I was talking to my mom, and I, saw, I was like, oh, my aunt, she said something about my birthday, man. A lot of women, uh, a lot of women and Chris told me happy birthday and Anthony. And Bro, Marcus. I forget my kids' birthdays. Ain't got nothing to do with me. All right, I appreciate y'all. Uh, whatever, man. Uh, make sure y'all subscribe, like this video, and yeah, man, y'all got any questions, leave them in the comment section, and we'll get to you all next time. Peace and love.